Thank you for joining us as we take a look at the Extreme Labs lab environment. First, we're going to go over logging in, redeeming an access code, and then finally launching a lab. To start, every user is going to need to register their own account with our website. This can be done by selecting the register option on our login page, or in entering your name, email, and password. Once complete, you want to log in. Once you've logged in, you're going to want to navigate to the access codes page, and this is where you'll be redeeming your access codes. Extreme Labs uses two types of access codes, instructor access codes and student access codes. Once you've received your access code, you'll enter it in the upper right hand corner and you'll see it listed under the My Code section. The code should display the course name as well as the expiration date. Once you've redeemed your access code, you'll navigate to View Labs, and you'll be able to see all the courses you currently have available on your account on the blue bar here. You'll want to select the course that you wish to take, and you'll be able to see all the different labs that are available for this course. Each one of these lab tiles on the right side of the screen represents one of the different labs for this course. The top of the tile will display the lab title, and it will also display the duration of the lab environment. When you first launch a lab, the duration will dictate how long that environment will remain running, whether or not you're connected to the environment. Near the end of the duration, a prompt will appear asking if users wish to extend the lab environment uh, in a 30 minute increment. And this can be accepted as many times as necessary to complete the entire lab. Uh, in this way, as long as they are working in the lab environment, they'll be able to complete the labs in one sitting. If your users also have access to our save lab feature, they'll be able to save the lab while they're working in the lab environment and then resume it getting the entire duration refresh. Once you're ready to take a lab, you'll want to select the take lab button and select continue. You'll be taken to a loading screen. Most labs will take one to two minutes to load and then you'll finally be redirected into the lab environment once it's ready for use. Thank you very much.